What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take all this stuff and turn it into a bypass oil filtration kit for this 6.0 right here. Um, along the way I'll show you guys what parts I used, where I sourced it, and how much it cost. All in all it only cost me about 150 bucks, but it should work really well and if you compare the price to one of the ones that you get from Sinister Diesel or everywhere else, they're usually around 300 bucks or more. So this is going to save you a ton of money. It might not be that great in the looks department, but I'm all about function anyway and saving a couple bucks. So this is the stuff I got. I'll run you guys through it and show you how I did it. All right, guys. So this is all the stuff I sourced out and picked up to complete this kit. Um, as I said in the last video, I was going to do an oil analysis through Blackstone. I got that. And right now, the truck does not have the arch oil or any synthetic fluids in it right now. Um, like I did in my last video uh, I had the truck go into a shop and I had to get some work done and I just put some conventional 1540 in there and We're gonna do Pretty much a good baseline that way I think if we go ahead and get the oil analysis done with conventional 1540 and then step it up to synthetic and then work your way into AMS oil I can show you guys what Success I had or what results I got with that um, stock Ford Motorcraft filter. This is, I don't want to say it's essential, but it does help. Um, it's just an eBay um, oil filter cap. It's got a little eighth inch MPT uh, bung there so you can tap in, you can put a gauge on it or whatever. Um, it doesn't look to be badly machined, um, but it does look exactly like the OEM filter housing or cap. So we'll see how it works. If it really does kind of screw up, I'll go out and splurge for a good one. If you guys do find one of these on eBay, um, I'll put a link in the description about who makes this thing. The threads are decent, but I had to touch up some of them. Um, I didn't want to screw up the filter housing on the truck. So other than that, the thing looks like it's pretty decent. I mean, these are really inexpensive. This was 50 bucks. This is the filter housing I'm using. Um, it's just a pretty basic under $20, I think it was $17 uh, filter head. So that thing's going to house the oil filter. It comes with this 3 quarter 16 thread for it, and that's a pretty, pretty common filter. But to do this, you can find these on eBay. This is a 3 quarter 16 to 1 inch 14 filter adapter. And this is what's necessary. This is really what people spend the big money on trying to get these billet filter housings and stuff like that. And it comes with this thread on there. This thing cost me eight bucks on eBay. Um, so like I said, that's a one inch 14 thread. They also come in one inch 16, so you can use your uh, AMS oil bypass filters if you wanna go that direction. Then I just got some assorted fittings. These things are relatively cheap and they're probably only a couple bucks a piece except for this guy right here. This was 12 bucks. It's a eighth inch NPT swivel to a number four or a dash four AN hose fitting. Um, that's going to be going to the top of the filter cap. And everything else was all literally about $2 a piece. Um, except for these things right here, and I'll go into that in a second. Next is the oil filter. So I did a ton of homework on these things. This is a Baldwin BF7587. It's a 3 micron absolute filter. I actually got a hold of Baldwin and had them point me in the right direction. This thing was 18 bucks. Um, it's got the one inch 14 threads on it. It's humongous. It's probably gonna hold a quart and a half or two of fluid, but that'll be good too, because that's gonna increase your oil volume in your truck. But three microns absolute's pretty darn good. They do have a shorter filter. Only the shorter filter I think is four microns. Um, and I wanna get as low as I can, but I think this one's gonna work really well. Next we got some quarter inch black hose. This is just, I think, Goodyear hose, Continental. I don't think it really matters all that much. Um, you know, the, it, it'll hold the pressure that it's gonna be getting put through. All right, so this also cost me about, I don't know, 18 bucks off Amazon. This is a Vibrant Performance um, oil fitting. So inside you're gonna get an oil filter fitting, which is an eighth inch MPT side right there, and then a dash four AN fitting on that side, but inside, if you look real close, there's a 30 thousandths restrictor in there. And you, this is the most important part of this kit right here. Um, and I'm going to be installing this on the outlet side 
of the uh, filter head here. All right, so if you don't wanna go this route and spend the 20 bucks on that to get the 30 thousandths restrictor fitting, you can go in this direction. Now these here, these two square headed uh, fittings came from the back of a uh, pressure gauge for you know whatever component it came off of. But the cool thing was, is if you look real close, there's a 30 thousandths restrictor in there. I don't know what it's for, I didn't care. I just cut it off the back of the bad gauge and um, I just held on to it. I checked it with a 30 thousandths uh, safety wire. It sure as hell is 30 thousandths. So if you can get your hands on one of these, you can actually take this, right, and tap the back side of this. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed here. You can actually thread this all in, right? So that way, that's how a lot of the kits come anyway. They come with like a brass restrictor fitting that goes right on the filter head, and that's gonna thread in there, and your filter will screw onto that, and your restricted oil will just pass through and head up back to return to your engine. So that's that. So there's two ways of going about that, and that was free if you look around. All right, so first things first, we're gonna do the oil analysis. I have the truck all warmed up. I took it for a spin. It's got some stuff in there, some directions on how to do it and how to ship it. Uh, make sure you read it. That way you get a really accurate um, oil analysis and make sure you read the shipping because you don't want this thing to get kicked back to you when you want to get this done. It's only cost about 28 bucks, I think, and they send this part to you for free. So when it's come time for you to get your uh, oil checked, you just send this in and get it done. All right, so just for comparison, this is the eBay one to the right that has the eighth inch MPT tap on the top and it's aluminum and that's the stock OEM plastic junk one so that's what it looks like on the inside that's what this one looks like on the inside they're both pretty much the same height all that kind of good stuff um, I know that there's some issues with using aftermarket caps so we'll see how this goes all right so there's what that looks like with that installed so even if you weren't doing I guess that dresses up a little bit all right, so for this part, I'm gonna actually tap into the filler neck right there. So all I did was I took this little paint marker and I indexed it where I wanted it to go. And I just kind of made a little mark where I want my fitting to stick and point out at. So I can just run my hose right up to it. Now these things are pretty thick too, and they're pretty cheap. So don't be too afraid, but this will save you a couple bucks for not buying one of those billet aluminum filter caps. All right, so that'll fit in there like that. Obviously it's gonna go in a little bit more, but I'm gonna clean this thing out pretty good. But uh, that's pretty much my goal right there. Just have it kind of stick out like that and we're gonna plumb right into it. So I'm just gonna do some RTV on the threads. I'm not gonna go crazy with that. And that's pretty much it. All right, so here it is. Got the filter cap installed with the 90 degree swivel fitting onto the brass uh, push barb fitting. I gotta tell you too, these things right here work really well. Um, I don't see any need to put another, like a hose clamp or something like that. And I work in heavy industry now and we use these all the time and they're super strong and they hold up to a lot of pressure and uh, definitely more pressure than this thing's gonna be putting out. So anyways, they do work really well. Um, got it ran along there and I have it sent down by the blower motor. Um, on the filler neck, as you can see, I just have that thing piped into there. Just use a little bit of silicone to seal the threads. And it doesn't get in the way of you using your filter cap or anything like that. You just kind of forget about it, really. So it does the same thing. It just kind of runs along and goes down there. And so there's where the filter's mounted. Probably that light's probably too bright. So it's just under the door, lines are running up. So it's that simple, right? Uh, it's nice it's mounted sideways. Um, you don't see it, it's not stupid looking, you know. It does what it's gotta do. Um, I just ran it, no leak. All right, so that's the video. Um, you guys can literally mount that filter anywhere. I just chose that mounting location because it worked for me. I mean, you guys figure out where you wanna put it. You can put it under the hood. I didn't wanna clutter up under the hood any more than it already is um so i wanted to go under the passenger door it's easy access um the only thing i would recommend if you're going to put it there i would put like a little 
you know, a protective piece of sheet metal or something like that. You can do something cool and wrap around it. Um, but just to recap here, I got some notes written down. Um, I spent a total of $154.30 on the whole thing. Um, and you guys can either do it cheaper, you can go with a couple nicer parts if you want to, but this is just a good example to, uh, to kind of ballpark you into that direction if you want to do something like this. Um, it definitely saves you a lot of money from buying one of those kits that are, you know, they're pretty expensive. I'm sure you guys have seen them out there, but they are really nice. I don't want to badmouth anybody, but, you know, I don't know what the point is spending that money, to be honest with you, you can go into other things. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and put all of the links of, of the parts I use in the descriptions, because you guys could source out all your own parts. Um, you know, I... The parts I got were, were all sourced out by me and you know I found good deals sometimes I found stuff that was already kind of existing and made it work with what I had um, or you can might be at work and they might be throwing stuff out that you could use so some stuff might end up being free so keep your eyes out for that kind of stuff and it'll work out for you on another note it's kind of a sad day old Moby Dick here is going to another owner so I had a deal come across me that you know I had an opportunity to sell it so it was kind of a bittersweet thing um, but you know it's gonna be fun to move on to something else um, I've had this thing for a couple of years and it did me really well it got me back and forth to work and I was doing you know 110 miles a day driving it and it really did well um, you know the only thing that kind of bums me out a little bit is that I can't do the uh, oil analysis like I wanted to. Um, I did put 1600 miles on this bypass filter but you know it is what it is you know so if you guys want to go out there and do it yourselves have at it. Um, I'm gonna go get a different truck I don't know what it's gonna be so my next video is gonna be you know more budget minus stuff with whatever I end up getting. So that's it like subscribe comment watch it a bunch of times enjoy.